I realize that CrossFit is going to be using the burpee as part of their CrossFit games this year. I think it's fantastic. And I think the preparation for it needs to be uh, done in a very systematic way. So I'm gonna break it down for you guys. So here's, here's a resource called Anatomy Trains by Thomas Myers. And here's the lines that are involved in the burpee. So here's the anatomy. Okay, the first one's called the superficial front line. And you'll see that this little skeleton represents the muscles. So the muscles are in blue. You'll see all the muscles that run down the front. The dominant muscles being the rectus femoris, the abdominals, and then a little deeper down into some of the shin muscles and a little fascial chain attached to the burpee is the arm line. And what you need to do is have maximal flexibility in the wrist. Can you turn to the side? Good. So this, this is a push-up ready position through the wrist. You want to grip all your fingers. You want to pull them back gently until you feel a four out of ten type stretch. You want to compress through your shoulders and try and neutralize through your spine. So tuck your abs a little bit. Good. So even though you're only working on the arm line, it's important to sort of be aware of where your body is throughout the rest of your body. You're going to move through this pattern with two to four second holds, create dynamic flexibility through the wrist in preparation for your burpee. The foundation for your burpee is going to be this plank position, okay? So right now he's engaged through his deep, or sorry, his superficial front line, and he's going to push back into what's called down dog. So here's our first mobility stability prep movement. You notice that he's in a long, strong position. He tucked his chin in, and he forced his heels into the ground to make sure the entire chain was activated. Now he's gonna drop into what's called up dog. He's gonna roll through his feet. You'll notice his toes even point in the opposite direction. Engage his shoulders down away from his ears to create stability. He rolled his elbows towards each other to create stability in the scapula, and even looked up in order to create stretch in the sternocleidomastoid. For warm up, and or preparation for a burpee, which can either be done in a four week segment or again, as part of your warm up before doing burpee training, is going to be a stability ball walkout into straight leg pike. You'll notice that right now, Jordan has a lower back arch or lumbar extended position. He's going to flex through the lower abs, engage through the shoulder blades, and create compression in the system. Now he begins a walkout, strong and stable through his scapula at the end. He's going to pull with the strength of his front line, pulls with the strength of his front line, stabilizing through his shoulders, looking back towards the ball to create length in the back line, and lowering the hips and walking back. This is one repetition, walk back, walk back. Good, long and strong, get back to where you started, restabilize, reset the system, and start the walkout again. You have to be able to perfect four to six of these before you'd even think about doing a burpee. We're going to strengthen the system right now. So we're going to do a stiff-legged deadlift. Stand, put him back down. Here he's going to hop back. So he's going to stabilize his shoulders, hop back, load his hips a little bit, pop back up. Good. Re-engage the stiff-legged deadlift. Stand up strong. In this way, we're loading the system gently. We're strengthening the system and we're preparing it. Next one, he's going to do an elevated burpee at full speed. So he's gonna drop, pop. You notice he lost his shoulder stability. It's really important to keep going. Boom, boom, quick, quick, fire. Good, lock down on the shoulders, quick, quick. Drop, pop, drive, pike, good. Elevation allows for you to clear through your hip.